If you want to start resin 3D printing, there's a high chance that you're probably poor. Because the only reason you would have the time to do these things is if you weren't working every moment of your life. But resin 3D printing is one of the more expensive hobbies out there. So what are you gonna do? Wait till your birthday? Give up on D&D miniatures? Perhaps the only solution is to just cut costs. And that is what this is for. This is the Orange 30 resin 3D printer manufactured by the company Longer. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah! With a price of just $150, this may be the printer you're looking for if times are getting tough. So let's turn back time and check it out. Well, this one's a resin printer, so I'm, I think I'll kill you if I did. Sounds good! It arrives neatly protected and packaged. It comes with some cables, tools, and uh, some wood. And, of course, the printer. Setup for resin 3D printers have never been too difficult. Power in, printing base in, wait. Where's the cover? Oh, that's what the wood is for. For me, this is the only inconvenience I had with the printer. Assembling this cover. Why couldn't it be a single piece? I'm pretty sure you could have somehow packaged that properly. And plus, I don't really know how to feel about it being held together by just two rubber bands. But either way, it doesn't take away from how this printer looks. The gorgeous orange is probably why this printer is called the orange. In my opinion, it would be sick to see a pink one of these on the market one day. This printer comes with a build plate almost exactly the size of an index card. Whatever you can fit on this, you can print. On the official website, it says it has a 17% larger print volume than others. Of course, this is a vague marketing statement but compared to its main competitor, it's true. This could print most small figures, perfect for beginners as larger models comes with complications. I'm not too picky about 3D printing features. To me, this 3D printer looks great. Leveling was a breeze and the printer is available on Lychee, the slicing software I use. With this, we were already prepped for print. I have no idea how long this video has been because I'm reading off a script, but that was fast. I guess the only painful thing about these printers is the resin, but that's later's problem. Let's print something to see if this cheap printer can actually hold up. Since I don't trust or care about test print files, I'm going to print this Yoda bust, which seems like a great idea. As I said before, Longer has lychee compatibility, making it very easy to deal with. Just import the file, attach a few supports, and you're ready to export. Before we start printing, for all those newbies out there, you have to understand that these things are dangerous. Well, the resin that is. It's like bleach, it's toxic. So the basic rules are to treat this like nuclear waste. No touchy, don't breathe it in like fresh air, and please don't drink it like some people out there. For that reason, I moved my resin 3D printers outside. So I'm doing this at nighttime to avoid the UV rays that comes along with the sun. Normally I would have the printer in an enclosed space, but since filming is easier out in the open, this is what we're gonna do. I filled the tank with some non-affiliated resin, made sure to mix it, and plugged in the USB. I didn't mention this earlier, but I realized that the USB has some pretty nice resources on it. The most useful, I think, being these instructional videos on everything you need to know. Anyways, click print, and we are on our way. One night later, the print was done. And after cleaning and curing in the sun, this is how it turned out. Unfortunately, the stick didn't print well, which was pretty much my fault because 
I didn't realize that the stick wouldn't stick to the base plate. Wait, what did I just say? Plus, there is also some slight layer shifting, but otherwise, the detail is just amazing. You can't even see or feel the layer lines, which is expected of a resin 3D printer. Next, I decided to print a few more things. A female Russian toy soldier that I found online, and because I ran out of things to print, I just printed a friend's request, which was a uh, schnoz. I have no clue what this thing is. This time I printed them on the same file to save some time, but unfortunately schnoz failed because the supports didn't grip his booty uh, strong enough. So I printed him again and it also failed a little bit, it didn't grip the leg and the left butt cheek enough. Um, but that's okay, I am not printing this thing again. Let's call it a day and take an in-depth look at these, shall we? The toy soldier goes to show that this printer can definitely produce some good detail. You can see the hair grooves, folds on the clothes, and even a small gap for where the trigger and fingers are. I wish I had a macro lens so we could analyze this model further. Schnoz needs to be amputated, but the surface is smooth and there are just not any printing errors whatsoever. He even has a hole here, which is fun. And back to Yoda, which blows my mind that this was a first print. And it goes to show that resin printing is pretty much accessible to everyone. In the end, I do have a few complaints. A few aspects of the printer feel underdeveloped. The USB being in the back, the cover being a little finicky, these screws being very close to the resin, and this weird glitch. However, the printer does its job. It has great customer support, prints perfectly, and is well worth your 150 bucks. I mean, 150 bucks to print whatever you want, even this thing, that's a good deal. I will definitely be using the donger in my future videos because who doesn't like creating a bit of more fun.